What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight! Tonight! We have AFI. Yes, indeed. How about that? AFI making their debut on the channel. This is a request from Amasaic. And this is actually one of Amasaic's three prioritized requests for the month of April for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Amasaic. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Amasaic wanted to see me react to this song. It is AFI with a tune called The Leaving Song Part 2. I guess they want to start me on Part 2 because they don't want me to start with Part 1 for some reason. That's okay. Hey, doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm fine with starting on Part 2. Uh, I've heard of AFI. I've heard of them, but I don't know if I've heard anything by them or not. But I am aware of AFI's existence. I do know they are a band. So, I guess this is my first exposure to AFI. Uh, have I heard the song before? No. To the best of my knowledge, I have not heard the song before. This does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing, and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, Wait a second, I recognize this. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by AFI, A Fire Inside. Oh, is that what AFI stands for? A Fire Inside? It could be. I I don't know. I mean, I'm sure AFI fans will tell me if that's the case, but that I, I would believe it. And the view has 8.2 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. AFI, the leaving song, part two. Two official music video. Wah, wah, wah. Whenever we use official music videos, the chances, the odds of the video game blocked are always going to be slightly higher. So if this does get blocked, don't be surprised. You know, that's all I'm saying. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Good energy. Really good energy. Um, very simple chordal pattern. Very simple. Uh, yeah, this is, this is an easy song. It really is. Um, nothing complicated from a songwriting standpoint. But the delivery is what's really kind of selling it here. It's, you know, you, you can have a simple three chord song and deliver it well and it's gonna sound good it's gonna sound really good on the flip side you could have a you know six a six chord pattern song 
that is just not delivered well at all. And the song's going to suck. It, it's going to sound like just absolute mumbo jumbo. So, no, this is good. This is really good. I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. Let's see where this goes. almost expecting a guitar solo there i was like it, it sounds like they're leading up to something i thought it was going to be a guitar solo nope no guitar solo um good syncopation there uh, everybody playing in unison that was nice it was tight it was really well done i mean it was simple but it was still tight look you can have the simplest line in the world and if the band's not tight and it sounds sloppy it doesn't matter it just doesn't matter how complicated or simple it is if, if they can't if they can't stay tight on those things, on those syncopated unison lines, and it makes no difference, no difference. So it sounded good, it sounded really tight. Dug it. Um, it's a good song. I, I I'm digging the feel, but I mean, it, it's not overly complicated. It doesn't require like any thought really at all. I mean, this song is ridiculously simple. So. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's Everybody's like, oh, he's calling it simple. That means he's not going to like it. Says who? Remember, I'm a Kiss fan. <laughs> and a Misfits fan. And a Motorhead fan. So, you know, you talk about three bands where it don't get much simpler than that. The Ramones is another one I'm a big fan of. It doesn't get much simpler than that. So I'm not, it's not that I'm not a fan of simple music. I am a fan of simple music. So I'm just saying the song is very simple. Which is a good thing because it doesn't require a whole lot of brain power to try to figure out and enjoy. I, I've already got the song nailed down, so I mean it's it's not hard, so, which makes it more enjoyable for me. So anyway, uh, let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. I mean, no frills, nothing fancy, just pretty much a straight ahead rocking tune. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Um, I'm not going to think about this a whole lot. There really isn't a whole lot to think about. And to be perfectly honest with you, there really isn't a whole lot to talk about. Um, I'll see you in the review and uh, we'll, we'll hash it out. I promise you, though, don't get too comfortable. This isn't going to take very long. Well, there you go, folks. That was AFI with The Leaving Song, Part 2. This was a request from Amasaic, and this was actually one of Amasaic's three prioritized requests for the month of April for being a gold-tier member on the Patreon page. So, 
There you go, Amasek. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Um, yeah, I really don't have to think very long about this. Th this score pretty much popped in my head like halfway through the song, and it stayed there for the rest of the song. And I, I and as I sat here thinking about it, that song, the score never left. It never left. I, I, I took everything into account, and I still had this score in my head. So this is the score we're going to go with. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.4. Yep, 7.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. Um. Was the song impressive? No. <laughs> was the song mind-blowing? No. Would I even call the song great? Uh, I wouldn't. Not, not me personally. Uh, but it is a really good song. And that is why it's getting the 7.4. Is because I do believe it is a really good song. Um, there is a big difference, and I know a lot of people get confused when I say these two things, so I'm going to do my best to clarify this. There is a big difference between a song that is well-written and a song that is complexly written, okay? You can have a simple song, a very simple song like this, and have it be very well-written, meaning well constructed well organized everything lines up everything is in the place where it needs to be the chordal structure flows the melodic lines fit within the chordal structure you could have a very simple song that is well written you could also have a song that is very complexly written and makes absolutely no sense makes no sense it's all over the place i've done a few of those on the channel and i'll say it's a impressively written song. It's just not a particularly well-written song, you know? Yeah, you, you were able to squeeze 50 different time signatures into a song. Hey, that's great. It makes no sense. It doesn't flow. Now, don't get me wrong. I love complex songs. I do. But I have to be in the mood to listen to them, in all honesty. and it, it, It's not something I would listen to all the time. I have a far more deep appreciation for songs that are well written than are you know complexly written this song was not complex at all this song was about as simple as simple can get but it is a well written song nonetheless everything is organized everything is well defined there i love the pre-course the way they designed the pre-course to lead up into the course again well defined no thought needed this was a straight and people are like well you're calling the song dumb no i'm not calling the song dumb and i'm not saying that dumb people listen to it what i'm saying is it you have to sit there with a scientific calculator trying to figure out the signs and the cosines of, of, of the of the rhythmic patterns here it, i'm not that that's what i'm trying to say you don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure out the song the song is very very simple i'll be honest with you maybe if i listen to it like maybe one or two more times i'll have it down and I, I can play it this is an easy easy tune but i enjoy those kind of tunes because it gives me a chance to relax i don't have to think i don't have to sit there and count because it's obviously in 4-4 um it's a really easy song to figure out so i don't have to sit there and try to figure it out it's it's already figured out it's it's that easy it's that simple so now i can just sit back and relax and enjoy the tune that's what I like, man. I like that. Um, the energy of the song was really good. Very intense. I, I dug the energy and the feel in the song. Uh, the vocals sounded good. Uh, not, not my favorite vocals, but I mean, the vocals were... They fit the song. They absolutely fit the song like a glove. Guitar... I'll be honest with you. The, car, the, the guitar sounded good in parts, but there were other parts where it thinned out. A little... I, I, I understand... You want to bring it down. That's okay. Bring it down, but don't thin it out. You know? You don't want to make it come down so much that it thins and it becomes a thin sounding guitar. Unless that's the effect you're going for. Now, if that's the effect that they're going for, then by all means, hey, look, you guys, mission accomplished. <laughs> Good on you. But I, I personally wasn't the biggest fan of that. I, I like it more when guitars stay full. Now, you can have a full guitar sound and just decrescendo you know it, it, that's not hard to do at all but they actually thinned out the sound of the guitar in the, in the guitar in a couple spots and 
a little too thin if you ask me. Uh, I can hear the bass in this. Bass sounded good. Uh, had a nice punch, a nice, nice, nice punchy sound to it, which I always appreciate. Um, maybe could have used a little more bottom end if I'm being honest, but it still sounded really good. I, I, I have really no complaints about the bass. Drums sounded good in the mix. Got no issues with the drumming at all. Um, the syncopated lines sounded good when they did them. Um, they sounded pretty tight. Pretty tight. A little bit of bleed over, but I think that was probably caused by effect and by reverb and stuff like that. So I don't think that was them. I think that was more the studio mix. I, that was that's what they wanted to get was that bleed over feel and that bleed over sound. So and that's okay. Yeah, you know, if that's what they're again, if that's what they're going for, by all means, mission accomplished. Now listen, it's a really good song. Okay, it's a really good song. Uh, I would I would listen to this again. Absolutely. Um I would have no problem listening to this again. I would I ever go looking for it? Probably not. Would I ever put it on a playlist? Uh, maybe driving to Vegas, possibly. But that's about it. Um, uh, maybe the gym. I don't know. Those some dude parts might might kill my workout. I I don't know if I would put that on gym playlist or not. Maybe driving to Vegas. Maybe driving to Vegas, but like I said, I didn't hate it. I didn't. I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. Uh, it was a really good song. I did enjoy it. So, and, and, I, and, and the reason I enjoyed it, honestly, more than anything, was for its simplicity. So, I'm giving it the 7.4, and that is where we're gonna stay. So, 7.4, final score. I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to click the bell, go ahead and click the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.